the Lord. Hallelujah. I read from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1. To everything there is a purpose, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. Is for following me like a madman. What the hell do you think you're doing? I just wanted to know you now. It doesn't come for a slap. Did it occur to you that maybe this particular girl does not want to be known? <sighs> now listen to me and listen to me very carefully. I don't want to see you anywhere near this vicinity. Do you understand me? If I do, honey, you won't even live to regret your actions. And that's a promise. I'll get out of here.
<laughs> I'm getting married. To who? To Damien, of course. Uh, that's nice. I, I didn't think you guys were that serious. Well, we weren't. But we are now. <laughs> Honestly, I am so happy for you. Seriously. Thank you. I feel like the happiest girl on earth. Yeah. Oh, you should. I mean, considering the battles over Damien with you and the... You know who's lemon us Exactly. <laughs> and I hope his philandering days are over now that he's settling down. Well, I hope so too. Which is why I'm severing this moment. <laughs> <laughs> really this sounds like a question. No, 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 my treat, my treat. That's why I'll be waiting. Let me get my bag, shoes. If you guys need to do some touch up, do so because I am taking you girls out. Oh, and he's going to be my treat. So we'll go to eat and then anything. Anything! Let's celebrate. <laughs> uh, and then we can discuss that she will be another one. Free lunch, lunch. That's, that's all I can think of. of. No problem. Oh my god. Oh, so Mm -hmm. When is the wedding? Well, next month on the 25th. Uh, what's the rush? I mean, isn't that rather soon? Yeah, it's soon. <laughs> I mean, unless of course there's something you're hiding from us that we don't know, that we should know. Like what, girls? Um, like a baby on the way, maybe. <laughs> Come on, you're not, you're not seriously thinking I'm pregnant. Come on, girls. I, of course, if I'm pregnant, I'll let you girls know. But Damien wanted us to like, get this over with. And I chose 25th because I've always wanted to be a Christmas bride. Okay, but I insist on asking what the rush is about. Uh, forgive me for pushing this chatter, but to be honest, Damien does not strike me as the sort of guy who would rush into matrimony just like that. He doesn't even look it. Well, maybe he has finally realized that I'm a gem. And of course, he wants to make it permanent before some other guy snatches me from him. <laughs> Way to go, girl. I love your confidence. Thank you. Yes, and we hope it's you. Hell no. Nice. What are you doing still lying down here? We're supposed to be at Damien's place for Chita's engagement party. Or have you forgotten? No, I haven't. I just don't feel like going. No, and you know me, I don't like parties, so I'll pass on this one. That is crap, Valerie. Crap. Chita is your friend and you must attend her engagement party. I mean, even if you don't like parties. Uh, okay, so what's the big deal? It's not like it's the wedding. Besides, if I explain to Jetta, I'm sure she'll understand. What do you want her to understand? Tell me, what do you want her to understand? That you couldn't get yourself to attend her wedding, or rather her engagement party, because you're so afraid of men? Well, here's a shocker for you, girl. The same two-legged, hot-blooded male of a species you're so afraid of are going to be at the wedding. And you are the chief bridesmaid. So the earlier you begin to get used to that, huh, the better for you, girl. Don't be absurd. Whoever gave you the insane idea that 
I'm afraid of men. You're not. No. You're not. So tell me, why don't you have a boyfriend? Why do you go out of your way to avoid them? And why particularly don't you want to attend Eva's engagement party? My God, Valerie! Sometimes I could swear, I could, I could swear that you're still a virgin. Get out of town. <gasps> oh my God, I know that face. I know that. Ah, you are, aren't you? Kill, what planet are you from? How old are you? Sente, I swear, if you don't leave me the hell alone, I will strangle you. I'm sorry. You're not going to do that. You're going to get off that chair, go get dressed, because we are going to the wedding, even if I have to bundle you along. Okay. All right, fine. I'll go. I will. Yeah, for his sake. You have 20 minutes. Fred. Hurry. In this way. Oh. Where have you been hiding this gown? It's too much, isn't it? I'm changing. Not on your life. Uh uh. <laughs> no, you will not. Come on. You look hot. I mean, you look. Mm -mm. Thank you. I mean, you are sweet. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I mean, thank god you don't like men, because this night you're definitely going to be turning so many heads around, and I don't want my boyfriend tripping for you. What? <laughs> Just a joke, I didn't mean that. Um, let me get my purse so we can go before you change your mind. Yes. Let me get my purse.
very much. Thank you, Nick. I'm glad you could make it, you know what I'm saying? I told you today is my day. I'll make it happen. Look at everywhere, man. Okay, see that, man. You know how it is. Uh, wait a minute. Um, I haven't seen the best man to be. Um, where is he? You mean Valentine? Oh, yes. Oh, Val traveled to the United States of America on a business trip. Oh, really? Um, I just hope we will make it for the wedding because uh, you know it would be so unfair if he leaves you without a best man. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think so. And you know it's so unpredictable. More like it. <laughs> After all, Damien and Val, they are cousins, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nick, you can go to hell. Once again, congrats, man. Congratulations, my Thank bro. Thank you so much, bro. Thank hey, you so much. Hey, what are those beautiful ladies Ooh. I just passed? Hey, that's it. <laughs> Girls, you made it. Hey, you. You look hot. Mwah. Those are Chateau's friends. Thank you, thank you. Oh, really? Yeah, so which one of them caught your eyes? Bro, the one in gold is pretty, but I think I prefer the beauty in red. Who is she? Well, she is Valerie Agese, the daughter of Winifred Agese, honorable member of the House of Assembly. I need to be introduced. That's what oh, I'm talking about, bro. Oh, yeah, because I mentioned Honorable Minister. Of course, I know you can arrange that. <laughs> you know it, bro. Why not? What are friends for? Come on, man. Let me take you along. It's my father, you remember? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, ladies. Hi, Damien. Yeah, how you doing, Valerie? Hello, yeah, Damien. Thanks. 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 Thanks a lot. Well, girls. Meet my friends, this is Nick and this is Bobby. Bobby, this is Valerie Hi girls. and Cynthia. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, you look more nice to meet you. Um, baby, we'll have unfinished business. Come here. 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 Can I offer you a drink? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. You see, uh, Oh, really? I'm fine, thank you, really. I'm fine. Oh, let me ask someone. No, thank you, I'm fine. Really. I insist. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, excuse me. Nick? Nick? Yeah. If you're trying to chat me up, I'll advise you to save your breath. Hmm? You'll be wasting your time. Why? Don't you like me? The question of whether I like you or not is irrelevant here. Yeah. Okay? I'm not interested. Hmm. Do us a favor. Leave me alone. Okay. What is wrong with you? I can't believe you did that. Good day. Hi. Yeah, please, I'm um, asking of uh, Valeria Guess's house. I don't know if I'm in the right place. Yes, you're in the right place. Don't I know you? You're Nick, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> um, actually, I'm Valeria's flatmate. We met at Chetan and Damien's um, engagement party, remember? <laughs> you're right, you're right. Nice. Come on in. Yeah, thank you. So, how are you? I'm beautiful, thank you. It's nice to have you here. Please do come in and make yourself comfortable. Nice apartment. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, won't you relax while I go call? Okay. Nice flowers. Really? Thanks. What's your name again? Nick. I don't give a shit. Now, I don't recall inviting you to my house or giving you my address in the first place. Anyway, I got your address through your friend uh, Cheta. 
But you see, I brought you these beautiful roses here. And to see if I can take you out to a beautiful place where we can sit down and talk. Talk? Yeah. You're obviously too daft to recognize and know when it's staring you in the face. Well, I'll say it in plain English. I am not interested in what you have to say to me. Do you understand? Now, please leave me alone. Leave. You see, Valerie, you don't know me. And besides, you don't know if I'm the right man for you. Right man? Yeah. <laughs> that is such a laugh. You see, as far as I'm concerned, every male species walk in the face of this earth is of no consequence to me or my life. All right? Now, please, do us both a favor and stop being a nuisance. Take your flowers and leave. Valerie, you're being too hostile over this. Are you going to go or do you want me to call the police to escort you out? Please. All right. Uh, good afternoon, Inspector DK. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Uh, listen, I need you to send some of your boys to my house. Oh, no, no, no problem. Just a little pest I need to get rid of. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. If I were you, I would leave before the police comes and throws you out. And do me a favor, take those with you where you're going. I did too. I didn't ask him to come here in the first place, did I? Uh, wait, you... <laughs> you threw out one of the most handsome guys I've ever seen in my entire life? Oh, good for you. You have him. I don't need any of that crap. Go, Sivana. For wait. I had already sent for Inspector Dickey to send his boys. Rubbish. I don't believe you did that! No! Oh. <laughs> I take it. Um, I guess she did not accept your suit, right? You mean that bloody bitch? Hey, 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 come on, hold it there. I still ask your work to use on beautiful Valerie. So, what did she do to deserve that? Bobby, guess. No, I mean guess. All right. So, because she refused your suit, is that why you're finding comfort in the arms of alcohol? You see, come on. She did not only refuse my suit, but rather she has the audacity to call the police on me, Nick. Damn it! She did what? She did that? Better believe it. She did just that. She even said she hates men, and that includes yours truly. <sighs> um, now I see why you're finding comfort in the arms of alcohol. Man, that was indeed a hit below the belt. I know you want to laugh. No, laugh. Don't spare me. Laugh. Hey, come on, come on, man. Relax, okay? Don't be too hard on yourself. All right? After all, there are a lot of girls in town. Okay, just look around, look around. You see some beautiful things that no other man. Um, but one thing I can't stop wondering is who she's reserving that wonderful package for you know what I mean now. I don't know and I don't bloody care I even regret the day I ever met her that's it <laughs> come on man move up man come on it's okay all right life goes on huh? come on
I mean, you practically took the poor guy's pride and sat on it. There are ways to tell a guy that you're not interested, you know. Oh, Cheta, please. Don't tell me you're surprised. Because I'm not. She's a sadist. Do you guys mind not discussing me like I'm not here? And by the way, Cheta, I wasn't very thrilled to learn it was you who gave him this address. How could you? What can I say? The poor guy insisted that he needed to locate you. So I told him how to. Well, you shouldn't have. I mean, as my friend, the least you can do is respect my privacy. Wait, wait, girl. Seriously. What are you saying? You're not interested in men? You don't want to settle down? You're settling down means being manhandled by some low-life scumbag all the time. I'm not. <laughs> Meaning? Meaning men are cheats. I'm useless. And any sensible man would do very well to live without them. Oh, please, Val. Please. And let's get real for once in your life. Men are a necessity. You can live with them, you can live without them. It's simple. You know what? That's your theory, not mine. Subject to becoming a Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Come back home. Yeah, welcome back home. It's okay. Saint Valentine Casanova. Man, you see, I never believe a day will come when you finally decide to get married. Hey, I never believed it myself, bro. But it just happened. <laughs> Man, this is serious. After breaking off all those girls' hearts, they are still falling in love with him. And besides, they are still rushing him. Remind me their names again, please. <laughs> oh, Agatha, uh -huh. Anita, mm -hmm. Informa, uh -huh. Cynthia. I keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Informa, <laughs> Infi. Do I call you? No, she's not. Hey, 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 come on, it's not my fault that I grew up to become a handsome guy. Uh, really? Besides, I'm just following in the footsteps of my predecessors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Saint Valentine, indeed. You know what? If your parents were to be here to see the way you're jumping from one girl to another, gosh, I am sure they would have regretted ever giving you that name. I don't think so. Uh, My dad would be proud of me. Well, brother, on a more serious note, hope you're going to shove it down now that you're getting married. Hey, look who's talking. Have you shoved it down? <laughs> <laughs> but on a more serious note, you see, um, marriage is a must to think, you know, <clears throat> and I'm not getting any younger, so I gotta do it. And life has to go on. You know what, Val? You are incorrigible. My sympathy only lies on Charlotte, who doesn't know what she's getting herself into until the girls come calling. Ah, oh, no, it's not going to be like that. Oh, yeah. The girls won't come calling to my house. Mm. I'll go see the girls. I'll play it on the down low. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. You know how it is. Sam Valentine. Yeah, bro. <laughs> She wants you to call her back. Hello? Like, excuse me? Did I forget something? No, I just mentioned your mother called and she wants you to call her back. And when she said call me back, she meant immediately. Get off my case. I will call her later. Hello, Valerie. How are you? I'm 
Valerie. I'm sorry. Was that something you wanted to talk to me about? Valerie, answer my questions. Didn't your friend tell you that I called? She did. Was that something you wanted? Valerie, you don't talk to me that way. Anyway, yesterday was my birthday and I had wanted to find a new deal. I'm sorry, I forgot. I know, it's all right. Um, you can always make it up with me by going out for lunch with me, okay? Oh, Mommy, I'm sorry, please I can't. I have this. Sh please, don't tell me. No. Please. Please, my dear. Please. Okay. Please. All right, fine. Okay, darling. See you then, all right? Okay. All right. Two o'clock. Why don't you give this a try? It's delicious. No thanks. My baby. How have you been anyway? I've been fine. Thanks. <coughs> you don't look fine to me. You, you look as if you barely eat. Well, you'd have to take my word for it now, wouldn't you, Mom? My baby. Why have you bluntly refused to come and visit me? Ever since your father died and you moved out of the house, you barely set your foot to the house. Why? Well, it's not like you're always home now, is it? Damn. All right. You won there. Yeah. My baby, when will you introduce me to your boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend, Mommy. I don't need one. My baby. When will you stop punishing yourself? I mean, over something that happened years back. Eh? Life must go on. You must go on with life. Eh? Mom, I have to take my leave now. I don't think I like the direction of this conversation. Darling, my baby, my, my no, baby, come, mom, come, I, come. I have to. Would you wait for the food? No, thanks. And, uh, my baby. Happy birthday. My baby, come. Come, darling. Take my girlfriends and I to the boutique tomorrow. Why don't you ask this old man here to take you? Because this old man is off to Potaka tomorrow morning for some offshore business. Really, I I don't mean to bother you know or budge into you guys spending time, but I just need a guy's opinion about it because the woman just came in from the UK and all the wedding fittings, all the Brett's made clothes that I ordered, so sweetie, you can come too if Oh no thanks. I would have loved to, but I need to take some rest now. You know, all this rig my role since we came back is really getting to me. Don't you think you'll be bored staying here all by yourself tomorrow? Oh, come on. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Okay. So what time do you want me to come pick you up? Mm, say 9 a.m. If that's okay.
upstairs. She's ready. This Valentine, Valentine is um, Damien's cousin, mm -hmm. and he's also going to be his best man. Valentine, this, ah, my friends, this is Cynthia. Cynthia, hi, it's a pleasure to meet you. Same here. And that's uh, Valerie, that's my maid of honor. Well, I am not pleased to meet you, Valerie. How are you? It's off to lunch now. You're taking us to lunch? Yeah. I'm not hungry. You're not hungry? That's okay, you can watch us eating. Shall we? Okay. Then you pack these things and I'll go start the car. Okay. Yeah, meet me down here. Thank you. 
But the about girls, you need to know how to approach them. That's right. Everybody right. has a definite... And that reminds me, why didn't you tell me that Chita's friends are so beautiful? I mean, I almost made a fool out of myself staring at them. Which one of them caught your eyes? Senia or Valerie? Oh boy, Valerie. Oh, that girl is something else, man. She's stunning. I mean, she can, she can, she can, she can make a proclaimed monk turn into a lover boy. Sorry to disappoint you, Val. See, that girl is an unfeeling ice package. An ice badge has nothing on her at all. So don't think of it. You're serious? For real, for real. <laughs> yeah, better believe it, man. So, you see, that girl is an anti-man. Tell him. She dislikes opposite sex. She doesn't even want to have anything to do with men. <laughs> so just forget it, man. <laughs> what would make a stunning creature, a creation like that, as if she was made by, by Picasso or, or, or Michelangelo or someone like that? I mean, it's, it's not true, is it? Why don't you ask her when you see her? I am sure our own Nick here never got that far before she sent the police on him. We've come again. That's right. <laughs> oh yes, she did. She did. She did. Oh, come on, you guys are playing. That's not true, is it? That is the truth and nothing but the truth. Listen, let me tell you. Hmm? You see that girl? She's different. She doesn't want us, as in we. She don't like men. And she can go to any length to drive her point home. That's right. That's right. Mm. She needs a special approach. But wait, how come you knew I was going to say just that? <laughs> or are you trying to get her come down to this place or something? That kind of girl needs a special approach. And I'm kind of good at that. Not really. Would you guys want to bet? What? I'm game. If you want to bet. All right, I'll bet you guys a hundred thousand each that by the end of this month, I'm going to get that iceberg, like you call her, to melt like lava. Are you sure you know exactly what you're doing? Man, I'm serious. I'm serious. You see, you see, women, women are like novels. You read them, and you dump them. No matter how interesting the novel is. And this girl, I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. <laughs> <laughs> That's not possible. Just, like just, joke, just forget it, man, right? For, but wait a minute. What happened to Charlotte? Charlotte, she'll, she'll, she'll be gone after the wedding, so she wouldn't know anything about it. That won't be a problem. That won't be a problem. Okay, guys. I'm getting I'm getting too. <laughs> Huh? All right, hundred thousand naira each. Yeah. By the end of this month, if you don't get the girl, it's, it's then you pay me. Uh, guys, I know the girl too well. I know what he did to to me. All right. So I bet. Yeah. All right. I am game. Are you sure? I'm gonna do it. Come on, man. All right. All right. Yeah. I bet. Break it out. All right. Let's do this, man. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, man. Hundred thousand at the end of this 100, month. Hundred thousand raised, man. Nice. Cheers. And if I win. You guys pay me a hundred thousand each. That's and you get three hundred. You know, I was wondering, Damien, how are your wedding plans going? Man, planning for a wedding is not an easy task. I must tell you, I'm practically run off my feet trying to put things together. And you know what? I just don't want to imagine what this whole wedding thing will do to my bank account. Yeah. You know, I was talking with Charlotte the other day and... You know, it would be an honor to us if you allow us to host your after wedding party. That's if you don't mind. Mind? Are you not or something? Come on, man, that's a small idea. I mean, at least it will relieve me of some molds, you know? I don't have to think about that anymore. <laughs> I am sure Teta will be so pleased to hear this. Thanks a lot, bro. Oh, it's all right. That's what cousins are for, anyway. You know, believe in each other. Of oh, you're stuff. right, man. You're right. Thanks a lot. Bro. Thanks a lot, man. Even after paying off the bridal balance, you still want to do this? Come on. If I don't do it for you, who am I going to do it for? Huh? <laughs>
Is that good, bro? Thanks a lot. That's why you're one of my best cousins. It's almost a sacrilege for a beautiful woman like you to be standing alone in a party like this. Maybe I choose to. Do you think you can respect that? I know I should. But, um, you're too intriguing to be left alone. Stop wasting your time with me, Valentine. I can't give you what you want. Why? No reason. I just can't. You can't. Or you won't. You know, I was wondering. But with a kiss like this, you're definitely not. Jack, get your hands off me. And don't ever come near me again. Or else I won't be responsible for what happens to you. You know, Valeria, I'm really sorry, but um, you're going to see more of me. My honor depends on it. Sorry, I'm not the one taking him to the airport, but Damien called and he has a problem I have to help him with. I hope you understand. Okay? It's okay. I understand. I'm really going to miss you, honey. 
Can't you maybe stay for a few more days? Oh, baby, you know I can't. I'm starting work on Monday, and you know that. Besides, you're joining me soon, aren't you? Yes, yes. As soon as I clear my goods from the wharf, I will join you. It's a promise. All right. Be a good boy now, and don't do whatever you wouldn't like me to do. Come on. Haven't I always been a good boy? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Not only joking. All right, okay. give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Uh, chocolates and uh, roses delivered to someone. Okay, what's the flavor, please? Uh, peaches and cream. The red okay. Okay, so how much would that cost? Uh, 2500 please. 2005 with the delivery, right? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. You're welcome. So get me pen and paper and I'll write down the address for you. I'll do that, sir. I'll be right over there. Please, I have a delivery for Miss Valerie. Now, what do we have here? Let me have it. Okay. <laughs> you need to hear this. <clears throat> Peaches and cream, that's, that's what you are. I didn't mean to kiss you. <gasps> wait, 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 you kissed him. What? Take it back. Yeah. But it has been paid for already, madam. I don't give a shit. Take it back to the sender. Did you just do that? Yes, I did. What? once a man comes an inch close to her. Well, you needed to have known her back then in school. I used to think she, she had psychological problems. <laughs> she does have psychological problems, girl. You just don't know. Okay, listen. She doesn't want to have anything to do with her mother as much as she doesn't want to have anything to do with men. Don't you think the two are kind of related? Oh, Aunt Cynthia, I have stopped, long stopped worrying about Valerie because... Just feel when the right man comes along. She will succumb. And I think that day is not fine coming. Come on. Out with it, out with it. <laughs> Tell me! Okay, okay. Does the name Valentine ring a bell in your ear? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That same Valentine. Guess what, Chetta? She let him kiss her. On the mouth. <laughs> and... Oh, so sad. You need normal Valerie fashion. I thought she let him kiss her, she got so aggressive again, I almost tore him apart, but he kissed her. <laughs> time, how come I didn't see that coming? You couldn't have. Come on, girl. Damien is all over your head. You <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Valentine, Valerie. <laughs> it has a nice ring to it, but... 
looks like my cousin-in-law is just what I have already needs. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Except the fact that he's engaged. He's what? So what is he doing chasing after Valerie? I don't know. Maybe he finds her attractive and he might discover that it's Valerie that he needs after all. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that sounds so nice. You know, at last she's going to be having a real romance with you, man. My sentiments exactly. And how did you say the case? Oh. return your little gift. I don't need a dog. I don't care how many legs it walks on. Well, you could have just thrown it away or better still, taken it to the animal shelter. But you didn't. You have to ask yourself why. Why else, if not to return the little brute to its brute of an owner? No. The bitch has come calling on the brute. The puppy is female. Whatever. Oh no, you don't. I'm not letting you run away this time. Meaning? Meaning you have to stop running from yourself. I'm not running from myself. It's time you stop running. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You have to stop. Mm. Something like that, yeah. Well, I guess I have to run, so uh, I'll see you in the evening. Hey, what is going on? 
going on? I thought you were on your way out. Was I? Oh, no. I mean, I need to know every single detail. There's nothing to know. Mm -mm. By the way, where is your car? He insisted on dropping me off. How do you intend to go to tomorrow? Yeah, I'll try to pick me up. This is romance! Hey, come on! I need to know what's happening! I never believed he could do it. Hey, why won't I do it? Man, you surprised me, for real. Why won't I do it? I mean, my name is Saint Valentine. I am Valentine. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you see, by the time I finished giving her my special brand of TLC, meaning tender love and care. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was practically begging for the lady. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. Mm. Yeah. So Val, what's gonna happen next? As in how? I mean, are you gonna dump her and switch over to the next novel or what? What? No, nothing like that. But but come on. I hope you're not asking this mm. in order to <laughs> continue <laughs> where I left her. <laughs> <or something laughs> like <that. laughs> she doesn't like you, remember that? Yeah, I know. The chest do away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we must see that's no doubt. Yeah. I thought you said you don't like reading a novel. I More said than what? How come you still wanna keep her? Hey, don't tell me you are beginning to fall. No, 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 I think he's already in love. No, 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 no it's, not that, it's not that. It's just that I'm, not, I'm, not, it, I'm, I'm not falling for her. But let's let's just say that this particular novel is it's worth reading again. I have to do this. 
Some girls just have all the work. This Yogosan guy is extremely romantic. Mm -hmm. Check this out. <laughs> mm -hmm. To keep you warm when I'm not there. That's sweet. So nice, really. Well, it's a pity that just like Valentine's Day, it will pass. Why did you say that? Like you're supposed to be excited? You know. But is it not the truth? You know men, I mean in the beginning they treat you like you're the best thing that ever happened to them. And then you get carried away. Oh, well, you know it, the gifts stop coming, they stop calling you. And then there's a woman out there receiving all the love while you're taking all the blame. Sorry, do you always have to be pessimistic? As in always? Oh, come on girl. The fact that your father wasn't nice to your mother does not mean everybody's the same. No, it's in their dreams, okay? Valentine is a man too. Look at it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Well, you know what the major problem is? I don't know if it happens if I'm able to take it. You know how this is Valerie, my girlfriend, and Val, this is Nikki, a very good friend of mine. Hello. Hi. Uh, women, uh, I think I have to start off with something. It's all good. So, uh, what's up with you? Yeah, I'm all good. I actually came to find out if uh, your content of booze are out. Because I made one or two arrangements of somebody who will come and buy a larger quantity of the computers. Fantastic! Fantastic! I love that! I love that! Thank you very much! Yeah. Thanks for that! Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll just call my clearing agent and okay. we'll make the arrangements. Okay. Alright? Okay. Mm. Fantastic. Nicky, my man! Mm -hmm. I need to catch up an appointment now. Probably I'll call you later. I'll see you later. Okay, I'll call you as soon as I finish the arrangements. Okay? Okay. okay. Alright. Nice right. day. Alright. Yeah, eat it. Uh, where are you? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, there are some people in Chester. Strictly for Ninja, Ninja people. A dirty get Faces Ninja, let no one angry me. Let no one despise me. Ninja on me, I This is my country. It's time to upgrade. Let us remember the days of our love as we live in peacefully in love one accord. Let us remember in Amte as there is already a right way that should lead us to the right place. Let us remember that we are this country, that we want people as we go come through. In spite all challenges that we might face, I know we're so strong, so we shouldn't faint. So let us remember the future of our children, the future of our brethren, the future of Nigeria. Faces Niger, let no one downgrade me, let no one despise me. Ija oni awa, this is my country. It's time to upgrade it. It's time to respect it. One love, no, yeah, why? Have you thought of the army protecting us from terrorism? Come on, you guys, leave Nick alone. I mean, it's not his fault he can't find the right girl. 
Did you just do that? Why well, did what? Pick your phone? Yes. Sweetie, I'm your girlfriend. I'm supposed to pick your phone. No, no, oh no, 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 you're not supposed to. Nobody picks my calls unless I give them permission to, and I don't remember giving you that permission. Okay? You don't want me to pick your calls? Yes, I don't want you to pick my calls unless I tell you to. Because you don't want me to discover you still have millions of girlfriends stashed away in the States, yes? Just shut up. You're beginning to piss me. Don't tell me to shut up, Valentine. You're a Casanova, and I know it, but I won't let you get away with it. Not with me. What? Did you just call me? A Casanova? A ca you, you just... Are you stupid? Hey, hey come hey, on. Is something man. wrong come with you? Man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, Va. What is it, man? Oh. Va. Va, what are you doing? Easy, man. Va, what are you doing? Va, come back. about these things. Guys cheat. They are born to cheat. They love to cheat. It's in their nature to cheat. Don't you get it? Okay. Okay. I think what you should be concerned about right now is how to go and seek forgiveness from your boyfriend. What? <laughs> I should ask Val to forgive me for slapping me. Ah. Listen, I'm the one who's offended here. Listen, Valentine has offended me. Valentine should be asking for my forgiveness. Do you understand? <laughs> what if he doesn't come? <laughs> Why not? Watch and switch. Now, you just don't have any plan. You never Valerie, eh? Yes, yes, I mean, why don't you come and let me call her? Please. Thank you. Oh, there she is. Hi, Valerie. What are you doing here? Um, I came to tell you that I'm sorry for what happened. Sorry for what exactly? Aren't you the one who got pissed off, slapped me, walked off? What are you sorry about? I'm really sorry. I, I never meant to do that. You see, I, I don't know what got into me. Please forgive me. I beg you. Who called you? Who? When? At the beach. Remember the reason you wanted to bite my head off? <laughs> it was just um, uh, one of my US contacts. No one important. Mm. Valerie, these past few days without you has been like hell for me. Uh, please forgive me, I, I really miss you so much. Please. Oh well, you should have thought of that before mouncing off. Yeah, dig it in. Okay. Well, um, I got something for you. Would you like to look at it? My 
I forgive him? I'm still thinking about it. I don't know that smile you're not. I'm not smiling. You're smiling. No, I'm not smiling. You are smiling. Okay. That she is the one that decided to be put in her place. Now she can think that she will push you around. Look, um, I know, I know. It's just that, you know, the incident at the beach set her off, and she's a very prickly girl. And if I hadn't done anything, she would have called off the relationship. So I, I had to do something. But come to think of it, I thought the incident at the beach was enough for you to quit and say to hell with everything. Exactly. Well, that. That would have been the original plan, but I realized I'm not done with her yet, so I decided to grovel, and I must say it cost me a pretty penny. God, I can't believe this. Valentine, you of all people knows that it is good to get out while the going is good. Come on, man, are you falling apart or something? Come on, I'm not falling apart, I'm just... I'm not done yet. But what the heck? I think our man here has fallen in love already. Hey, come on! I, 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 no, 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 I, I can't fall in love. I, I can't do that. You know that. I'm, I'm still my mean old self. You know that. No, well, you know that. I, I just haven't had enough of her. That's, Are, you that's sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You just want to hang out? Yeah, what's up? Uh, long snack, bro? Alright. Okay. I'll be there. What was that? Um, uh, that was Damien. He's going to a club with some friends and he wants to know if I'm coming. Well, call, call him back and tell him you're not. Why is that, if I may ask? I don't trust your friends. They could mislead you. Are you saying my friends are corrupt? Well, yes, and they can corrupt you too if you keep hanging out with them. Oh. So now you're saying I should stop hanging out with my friends because you don't like them? Yes. Besides, what are you going to the clubs to do anyway? I mean, what do grown-up men go to the clubs to do? If not to chase half-naked girls half their age. Look, that, that's not even it. It's just... Well, I'm scared. I, I just feel if you go, you'll probably find somebody you like better than me, and I, I don't want that. Honey, that's irrational. The fact that I'm going to a club with friends does not mean that I'm, I'll be chasing women. I don't care what you're going to be doing. You're not going. Is that an order? information on what I asked you to find out? Yes, there is a man in her life. Really? And it appears she is very attached to him. And does this man have a name? Yes, his name is Valentine. Oh God, that's very good. Good, good, good. Boom. Have this a photograph. Is, this Wonderful. Is, this is good. Is I see. That's very good. That's very good. Let's go. 
Seriously, I am still in shock. Who would have thought that this thing between you and me? Valentine, you get this serious and you mean you actually ask you to marry him? I am still in shock. We love each other now. And people who love each other get married. That's what they do. Well, I am <laughs> I'm not saying they don't. But we again have to admit that this is too sudden, isn't it? Well, I don't think it's sudden. You see, for I and Valentine, it was love at first sight, and it's only natural that it would get to this stage at some point. Mm. Well, it's nice. It's just that I, for one, am definitely going to miss you. I mean, this house is going to be so lonely and empty without you. Oh, don't worry. Valentine and I will visit all the time. Because, you see, from now on, my friends are his friends. He has no choice. You don't know. He has tears in shock. Sure. Tell me you're still mad at me over the other night. My, my wife to be. Uh, what's that? Oh, I'm just a few of myself. What is it doing here? Don't be asking me silly questions. I've come to stay. Honey, look, I can't bear the thought of you in this house all by yourself, honestly. So I figured, you know, if I move in and we live together for now, then we can get married later. How's that? Uh, um, This is Edith, my clearing agent. We were um, going Valentine, to... Valentine, you must be mad to think I'm stupid enough to believe that. Now, tell me, where in the world do they hire women as clearing agents? Honey, you don't seem to... Hey, no, 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 no. Shh. Now, you tramp. Get up. Get up and get out of here. Before I teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Excuse me, Valentine. Why kind of embarrassment is this? Um, You're still talking. <laughs> Clarity agents, my ass. What is wrong with you? You listen and listen very good. I don't want to see you with that trap or any other trap for that matter. Do you understand? <laughs> I am not like every other woman you've dated. business with them, that's all. Well, that's even better. I haven't seen your time in So when I'm chatting with her, you can discuss business with him. Okay, me. Broken, it's forever broken. I 
all evening because I did not charge it last night and the battery went flat before the day was over. You're lying, Valentine, and you know it. You've been with another woman, haven't you? That's why you're coming back at this time, Abby. You can't deny it, Valentine. Yes, I can't deny it. You know why? Because I am tired and I do not have the strength to try to convince you otherwise. Now, this possessive attitude of yours, it's getting out of hand. It's becoming too much. It's turning into paranoia. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of you. What is this nonsense I anyway? I knew it. Valentine, I knew it. You're seeing another woman, aren't you? Valentine, you don't love me anymore. Oh, God. Just relax yourself. This one, you're panicking like the horns of hell after you. What is the problem? It's Valerie. Valerie? She is practically stalking me. I mean, as we talk so, as we yarn now, the, the girl is in my house and she's 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 making my life a miserable hell. But I heard both of you are getting married. That's her story, not mine. This girl is is she's nuts and she's driving me crazy. Relax yourself. It's not as bad as that. Okay? It's not as bad as that. How bad can it get when your girlfriend doesn't want you to go out with your friends, she doesn't like them, and she treats you like an object, like a possession that she, she will kill to keep? You're serious, ain't you? Jesus Christ, I'm serious, man. This, this girl is, 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 is obsessive. She's possessive. She's, she's weird, scary. I mean, the other day, she just eat it out of my house, wielding a bottle of wine. Eat it, my clearing agent. Jesus Christ. But she doesn't look like the type who will get irrational with jealousy. I mean, she looks so angelic. Madness, no, they show for face, bros. You know, they show for face. This girl, it's not written on your forehead. This girl is crazy. She, she, I, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know how to get out of this. So, what are you going to do? I don't know. I'm just tired of the whole thing. I'm tired. I don't know how to tell her it's over. I don't know what to do. You've got to help me out on this. Just relax yourself. We'll think of what to do. All right? Just relax yourself. Yo. Yeah, hi, babe. What's up? Uh, yeah. What? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah no problem. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be expecting you. All right, bye. Who was that? Charlotte. 
She's coming in tomorrow. Tomorrow? you bring me here, Val? I mean, what are we doing here? What is wrong with your house? Um, nothing. Uh, something, actually. You see, the, uh, it has the electrical problems. And, and the, 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 the engineer, the, uh, the technician said it, it would be harmful. Spare me that trash. That is such a bare-faced life, Val. I expect you to do better. Why can't you just come right out and tell me the truth? There's another woman in there, isn't it? Talk to me! I mean, it's not what you think. Then what is it? Can you look me in the eye and swear that there's no one waiting for you in that house, even as we speak right now? Months since I left, and you have to jump into bed with another woman. Just what is it that she has that I don't? Answer me, honey. honey look, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't. I don't know how it happened. You see, I. I, I don't touch me, you liar. You know what? You are nothing but a lying, cheating bastard. That's what you are. I know what. I am no longer interested in this engagement. You can take it or lump it. Honey, 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 it's, honey. it's not like, like, like that, honey. Honey, I'm sorry. So, Nick. Yeah, bro. Have I told you that um, Valentine's fiance is back? Charlotte? Yes. When did she come in? Um, she got back yesterday from the state. And guess what? Yeah. Valentine took her to Damien's house to stay. Why? Why was his house? Uh, let's say our number one special Valerie decided to move in with Valentine. What? Oh, yes. You mean Valerie now stays in Valentine's house? Wait, let me get this straight. Are you saying that Valerie now lives with Valentine? I'm talking about. I say, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. As we speak right now, okay? Yeah. Valerie is in Valentine's house. Boy! I'm sure our man Valentine will regret the day he made that bet. Mm. Let's see how he gets up mm. on this. I yeah. know you will enjoy seeing him in this mess because you have not forgiven him for winning Valerie over you. Bros, boy, you know now. You know now. And, and Nick, make sure you don't do anything stupid. No, not at all. I won't. Of course, he's my man too. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You. Aren't you a little busy bee dusting and cleaning another woman's house? What are you doing here? Hmm? Now leave. Leave before I call the police on you a second time. You can't throw me out. Because this is not your house. No, that's where you get it wrong, Nick. You see, Valentine and I are getting married. So automatically, this is my house. And I can do whatever I damn well please. Why are you deluding yourself? Valentine never loved you. Besides, he has a fiancé. Her name is Charlotte. Even as we speak, he's with a fiancé. That is such a cheap shot, Nick, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Why do you women like going to places where you're not invited? You see, Val never liked you. He only came to you because we had a bet of 100,000 naira, just for him to lay you before the moon runs off. What? Yes. That's a lie. That is a lie, because Valentine loves me, and he would never stoop that way. Do you not want me to tell you what he told us the first that you people have, the first day he made love to you. He even told us that you were a virgin. You see, all that innocence wasted on one stupid Casanova. Tell me your name. Tell 
Tell me it's not true, please. Valerie, you see, I know you're hot. You deserve to hurt. The same way I hurt when you threw me out from your house. I would have loved you if only you would have given me the opportunity to do that. But now I can't. I can't even get close to you, not even 10 meters pole close to you. Because you're filled with Valentine. <sighs> anyway, for your information, Valentine is planning to run away with Charlotte. That's the fiancé's name. And if you doubt me, go to Damien's house. You'll see for yourself. Have a good day. very stupid of me to, to, to do that and I'm sorry about it but you know I love you and I don't want to lose you this was just a silly mistake <laughs> and I promise it will never happen again because I want to spend the rest of my life with you I'm really sorry please forgive me <laughs> Charlotte, forgive him. All men behave sometimes. Val never meant it to get this far. Please, try as much as possible to forgive him. Go, go. It's okay. I understand what you're going through. Believe me, I do. Okay, this, these things happen. You can't allow what has happened to destroy the beautiful thing that you have to do with him. Okay, just try. Forgive him, okay? See Valentine. Valerie, don't do this. Okay? Get out of my way! You slapped me, and I will do worse if you don't leave my way. You backstabbing bitch! You know what I want, Valentine? I want you. You rightfully belong to me. Let's go. You know, I can see you. You're not just demented. You're also delusional. I was never yours, Valerie. I was never yours. You were just a pawn in the game I played with my friends. And it's time to end it. So it's true? Valentine, you toy with my heart? With me? Over a mega sum? How could you? To use me and jump me just like that. I won't let you. Well, in case you didn't notice, I've already dumped you. I, I don't see what I, I don't even know what I saw in you in the first place. Okay, just leave now. Valentine, we can talk about this. Please don't leave me, please. Valentine, look, look at me. I'm nothing without you. If you leave me now, I will die. Listen, this, us. It can't work. It can. You choke me. When I'm with you, I feel like a prisoner. Okay? Listen, this is not the kind of life I want to live. Okay? Besides, I have someone. But how long 
long has this betrayal been going on? How long have you been cheating on me? Charles has always been there, long before I met you. If there is any betrayal, it's on her, not you. Stop crying, all right? No, it's not all right. But my valentine broke my heart. Oh, no. He betrayed my trust. Shh, all right. it's all right. It's okay, it's okay. You can't go on so, so, so. You're breaking my heart. Please. <laughs> Expecting me to date Valerie forever, indefinitely? Were you? Besides, she was getting on my nerves. Val, I never knew you could be heartless. Why do you have to go that far? What would you have me do, Nikki? Tell me what. Marry her? Have you forgotten I have a fiance, Charlotte? You knew you had Charlotte all this while, and you still have the destiny to deceive the girl that loves you so much. You, you could be mean. Well, I hope it's not um, unrepeated love talking here, is it? I mean, you were in on this, weren't you? Well, don't, don't give me this self-righteous indignation bullshit. I mean, it, it doesn't work. As for Valerie, well, it was fun while it lasted. Bastard! That's for dumping Valerie! Well, at least I got some. You didn't. Bastard. Okay, um, 
Well, if you don't mind my asking, Your Honor, what do I owe the honor of this visit? <laughs> Actually, I am here to find out what happened between you and my daughter. Oh. Well, with all due respect, madam, I don't see how that is any of your business. Oh, that is where you have made a mistake. I mean, it is my business to know everything about my daughter and her relationships. Besides, I have just made it my business to know why you scorned my daughter's affection, throwing back the love she has for you back to her face. Love. <laughs> well, madam, if what your daughter had for me is love, then I would hate to come face to face with obsession. How dare you? How dare you say such a thing about a girl whom I know has given you the purest part of her heart? Besides, my daughter had never wanted to do anything with me until she met and fell in love with you. Does that not mean something to you? Oh, it does, madam. It does tell me something. Good. And you know what it tells me? It tells me that I should have run the other way when I saw her coming. You see, this thing that you perceive as love was merely a prison. A prison for me. Where I had to cater to your daughter's every whim while she controls my life. Oh, it's such a surprise. Of course I'm not surprised. I mean, knowing your exalted reputation as a womanizer, every woman in her right frame of mind would want to control your life. So that you don't be them silly. You know exactly what I am talking about. May I remind you that you are under my roof? So? And I do take exception to being insulted under my Excuse roof. Excuse me. Now, your coming here <laughs> is a mistake. You should go back to your daughter, if she sent you, and tell her that you failed. Anyway, I can see that there's no reasoning with you. I wonder actually where my daughter was thinking when she fell for a riffraff like you, who is only being controlled with the organ between his two legs. Now listen, and listen to me real good. If you love yourself, mend fences with my daughter. I am giving you three days to bring her out from this distress which you kept her and make her happy again. Us, boy. You will have me to answer. Trust me, I am not bluffing. I mean every bit of my word. Good day. Man, are you serious? I'm about to pee my pants and you're asking me if I'm serious. Look, the long and short of the whole thing is I have three days to make up with Valerie or her mother deals with me. What have I gotten myself into, bro? Come on, Valentine. This is not a stone age where a guy is forced to marry a girl at gunpoint. The rules have changed, man. Maybe they still play by the old rules. I mean, both mother and daughter are not cases. What am I going to do? Well, just relax yourself, okay? Calm down your nerves. We'll think of what to do. But I know one thing is for sure. You just have to leave the country as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Just leave the country. And the problem solves itself. That's it, man. That's it, bro. That's it. Yeah, that's what I like. I came to pick up a few things from the supermarket. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I miss you. Valentine. Do you miss me? Valerie, uh, um, this is neither the time nor the place to talk about this. You don't pick my calls. 
Valentine, we need to talk about us. You know that. Valley, we've done all the talking we need to. I, I don't see why we should do more. Well, I love you. I love you. Doesn't that count? Is, isn't that enough reason for you to forgive me for, for whatever I did? I can make you happy, Valentine. Just give me a chance, please. Valerie, I, I, don't, I, I don't think we should be raking up the past. You see, um, besides, you, you never did anything I should forgive you for. The crux of the matter is, I have someone whose love I am comfortable with and, and I appreciate. She's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with, not you. You didn't appreciate my love? Well, I thought we had we had it going good, didn't we? Charlotte, uh, no, no, nothing. Um, Valerie, you've met Charlotte, my fiance. Uh, Charlotte, this is um, a friend of mine, Valerie. Yeah, I'm sure you've met. We came here to um, get something from the supermarket. Hi. Hi. Anyway, come on, darling. Remember, you promised to take me to the cinema. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, why don't you get into the car and I, I'll put these at the back here. Um, Valerie, I guess I'll, um, I'll see you around. Dear, don't weep this much. Whatever it is, I mean, it cannot be the end of the world. What is it? What? Come on, tell me. What is it? I loved him. I loved Valentine. I did. I know. I know. And how could he do this to me? I mean, what did I do to deserve this from Valentine? What did I do? I did was love him. I gave him my heart, my soul. I gave him everything in me. Only for him to be playing games with me. Come on, Valerie. <coughs> it's okay. Relax, Valerie. You have to get a grip of yourself. What are you doing? You're simply going to fall sick with all this crying. I'm sure Valentine was never the man for you. Maybe the right man for you is there somewhere. He's just, he's just waiting to see you and love you. It's no use. It's not hard for anybody else to love. Valentine has shattered my heart. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Stop saying that. Oh, no. Valerie, you're beautiful. You're an angel. Please, stop crying. I hate to see you like this. I hate to see you hurting. You make me cry now. Please. Hello. Yeah, this is Valentine speaking. What? Charlotte? In an accident? Where? All right, all right, I'm coming there right now. Just hold on, I'm coming there right now.
dievčana. Ti me izvalka. Van? No, he's not here. Why? He left the house and told me that he was coming to see you to discuss some urgent matters. Charlotte, please try and get some sleep, okay? He also told me he's going to come back in time so we can go to the airport and, go and confirm our tickets. I'm sure Val will be okay wherever he is. But since I have not seen him... If it's not back till dawn, then we'll try and do something. No, we are not telling her. You have to tell her. Yeah. Cheta, Cheta. How can you forget so soon? She behaves weird like weird. I, can't, I don't even want to think of what she's going to do when she hears. No, we are not telling her. No. You're not telling me what? What are you guys keeping? Hiding. Oh no, we're not hiding anything. I mean, it's not like we don't want to tell you. Who. We just don't know how you're going to feel, you know, how you're going to take it. I beg you, I'm not that soft. Tell me what it is. Whatever it is, I'll take it. Well, Valerie, um, Valentine is missing. M missing? What do you mean missing? He has been missing for the past three days. And we are all worried because we don't know what might have happened to him. He, he could be hot, uh, even worse. So, oh my God. Please stop, okay? You're going to make yourself sick. I, I think Cynthia is right. I, there's no need to make yourself sick over this. I am sure that Valentine is going to come back from wherever he has gone to. But what if he doesn't come back? What will I do then? Shh. I'll no. just kill myself. No, no, no. I'll I kill myself. No. Ah. Come back. Okay, we'll come back. Ah. Nothing is going to happen to you over that time. Okay? Come on, my love. Ah! <laughs> 